All right, all right, all right, Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion, Red Tarot. I am in this place to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for February 2021. We show here to have some fun, baby. I hope you have had an amazing time i know that the weather has been really crazy i want to give a big love shout out and prayers to everyone in texas if anyone has been you know going through the uh power outage and the freezing all of that stuff like my heart is just going out to everyone everyone that has clicked this video please make sure that you just close your eyes and just say a, a prayer for all my babies watching just anyone that we know um in texas okay so sagittarius you already know how we do i just want to give a big shout out to all my ogs all my newbies every last one of you guys who have clicked shared liked and subscribed to any of these videos um i want to give um, a big shout out to everyone who's been booking personal private readings who've been sending love through the cash app through the paypal um you know just giving oh through the amazon wish list as well uh just showing love to the page uh, I just want to give a big, big shout out to y'all. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you guys would like to book a personal and private reading, click the description of this video. It gives you all the booking information or click the about tab on my YouTube page. Uh, the best way to get in contact with me is through Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, shoot me an email at scorpionresigmail.com, okay? All right. So listen, we're reloaded. We're about to get into this. Uh, close your eyes with me for a brief second. We're going to give Father God, the creator, the universe, whatever you want to call him, praise and thanks for just bringing us here collectively today. So Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you so much for giving us our time to shine, Father God. We feel refreshed. We feel regenerated. We feel full. We feel free right now, Father God. Um, so thank you so much for just giving us this time, this moment to express ourselves to just like really reach deep within and just pull all of that goodness out all of that loving all of that generosity all and you know purging a lot of things you know all of that pain all of that envy all of that jealousy all of that you know manipulative type of sh whatever you know what i'm saying like we're just pulling all of this stuff out you know what i'm saying purging things we don't need and just letting everything that the world needs from us shine that's what we're doing father god like we're so over the past and we're not going to let the past represent us that's for sure you know like i don't care what no one has to say about us you know what i'm saying like you have to take a moment of time in your life where it's like People going to have to let me shine. They're going to have to let me outshine my past. Outshine that story. I got a better story for you. So it's about time for you to stop retelling that. You can't tell that story no more. Because I'm, I'm doing something different. And my past doesn't represent me. You know. So right now we just pulling out all of the all of the stunts, all of the shows, you know what I'm saying? Let's give them something to talk about for real. So Sagittarius, you know, why are you so mysterious, Father God? Give us the guidance that we need for my beautiful Sagittarius, Father God. Let them show and glow this time, Father God. Yes, amen, amen, and amen. Give us the guidance we need today. All right, let's get it. So come on now. Y'all said it's time to show and glow. Come on now. Saggy, saggy, saggy. Let's give them something to talk about. Yes. Let's give them something to talk about. Alright, let's see. Give me guidance for February for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much. That's a lot. Thank you so much. Give me one card for Sagittarius. You keep trying to give me like, oh my gracious. One card for Sagittarius. Please for February. One card. Independence. Yes. The more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and take care of your inner child, the more freestanding you become. Help me feed. And love this inner child, dear Lord. That is literally what I was talking about in the prayer, wasn't that? 
like that reaching within that deepness come on now independence it's my time to shine like i'm so serious it's something about you guys are like kind of stepping out free form and free standing like i don't know why i'm kind of getting somewhat like <gasps> you know, like when you see, it's like someone standing on top of a mountain with their arms, like, <gasps> like let, letting the sun beam on them, like they're getting all that good vitamin D energy, you know what I'm saying? Independence. You guys are like expressing your freedom, expressing your independence, independent mind, independent thinking. It's like, I want to say you guys possibly could have stepped aside from group thinking y'all feel me group thinking it's some type of group thinking situation where you guys have completely separated yourself from this group and you have an independent philosophy an independent lifestyle it may not be your typical what they would typically agree with that's why you kind of had to stand alone right now the more you learn to free yourself on the inside and take care of your inner child the more freestanding you become help me feed and love this inner child dear lord independence let's give them something to talk about what is y'all into stop okay come on let's get it let's get it because i feel like y'all about to get somebody something to talk about Ooh -wee. Let's see what's going on, Sage. Let's go on. Let's go on with the Sages. Let's see what we got. Give me guidance. Clarify this independence for my Sagittarius. February, thank you so much. You got the Ace of Material in the reverse. You got the Hierophant in the reverse. And you got the Awakening, which is the Judgment card. Very interesting. Looks like you're taking some new approach to your beginning this time. It is, I'm serious. What I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all yeah, stepped away from a group and you have some independent living, something that is unorthodox, that is not the typical lifestyle that you used to. Um, uh, you have changed. You have changed. I don't know what may have caused this change. It could have been like you like like you stepped into your own state of well awareness because of being in a situation of some type of lack where you had to kind of rebuild something again. It's like having to restart your life and rebuild it from ground up. So it's like. You want to be your own individual. I don't see things the way I used to see it anymore. The way I, I seen it that way is because it was group thinking. I was taught this. I was brought up this way. Like that, you know, that's just the lifestyle of what I believed in because that's what I was told. That wasn't me being free thinking, freestanding. Like you might like be stepping away from traditional religion, uh, maybe walking away from some type of social group. Maybe walking away from a job. Um, I want to say you could have got released from an institution or something like that. Like someone could have got released from. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying like a mental institution is like someone can think straight again or something. But I don't physically, I don't like feel like it's a physical and actual mental institution. It's like. I don't want to say it's not like it's not cultish is it damn I don't want to say it's cultish but I'm like damn is it <laughs> it's like um it's like you you don't you don't see that no more you don't see it that way no more it's the judgment card it's like you're being called to speak for yourself you know, like, can you speak for yourself? What do you think? What do you feel independently aside from this group? Whoever this, you know, I don't know if there's like a, some type of leader or 
it's like some type of tradition or some type of way of living of some sort that you've been accustomed to and you have obeyed and abided by and you don't want to do that anymore. You know, you could have been in a, in a relationship for years. You know what I'm saying? And it's like now you're having to start from scratch because there was a divorce, you know? And because, because of you walking away from this and you not having such close relation or having someone dictate, giving you a certain set. Because a hierophant is like someone like abiding by a certain set of rules, um, being, you know, being pressured to have a certain level of understanding and, and upkeep of that understanding. Do you understand? It's like, okay, well... I'm Muslim, and that's my religious belief. I was born into being a Muslim. I may, I, you know, you know, like how a lot of Muslim people, they have the, the hair and a lot of skin you know, is covered and things like that. So I don't want to say it's like someone, like, denouncing their religion, but it is kind of, that's like how I'm seeing it. It's like, I have grew up with my hair covered, and I see the whole world. Women can wear clothes, and they can show their face, and... It's like I want to decide for myself how I choose to live my life. I don't want it to be chosen for me. Do you understand? The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is something where people are having to like really dedicate their self to strategizing, planning, understanding, learning. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't want to say like playing with your gifts, but it's like if someone gives you something before you just open up the package and just think, okay, I think I know what I'm doing. No, read the instructions. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you guys are having to educate yourself on something. Because if you're going to do it on your own and if you're going to be free thinking, I feel like you need to be educated. You need to self-educate. You know, uh, yeah, it's like you're, 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 you're going in school by researching things on your own. It's like self-taught. So you may be in the beginning of a stage where it's like you are being self-taught. You're making yourself learn something on your own to have your own strategy and have a very large amount of reserved patience because it's going to take a lot of time for you to dedicate yourself to this because you're not being instructed under a leader you're your own leader you are your own leader and if things fall off or things don't go as planned it's because you didn't plan it appropriately so it's like taking the time to Start over, but planning appropriately because you ain't got nobody holding your hands no more. Because now you're free, you're free thinking, you're free standing, and you're separated from this group, and you do have to do things on your own. So, this is the education before the plan. You got to understand what you're doing before you even think of trying to do it. I hope I'm, I know I'm making sense for somebody. I know I'm making sense for somebody because this is like a clear, clear evidence is what someone is going through right here. And I already done bought these cards out. I forgot for which reason I ended up breaking these cards out of. But it's good because it's helping put an extra context on what you guys are going through, you know, in your day to day before we get on over to the love. So, can you please give me additional guidance for my Sagittarius and the general energy um, with this independence, this ace of material? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's see. What do we got here? We got despair. And then that was in the reverse. Because you seen I just flipped it over. So, it was like this. So, you guys are definitely coming out of whatever... Um, They're saying, like, at first, you were, like, exacerbating your energy, trying to figure some way out of a rabbit hole. I don't know. It's like someone fell in, like, a hole. It's like you fell in a ditch in some type of way. It's like you got all dirty. You're all scuffed up. And it's like now you're 
It's like climbing your way out. Like you guys have exacerbated your energy trying to climb your way out. And that's why it's like take a moment and sit down and think. Because it's like no one is coming to your rescue. It's like you got to do it by yourself this time. So I don't know if there's something like, because uh, you know this card, it does says not hiring in the background. It's like someone is in some type of situation where they're destitute, poor. Um, I want to say lonely, but you're not necessarily lonely. It's like you have a companion. It's like you could very much so have a companion, but it's like you still feel lonely. It's ever someone is in a situation where, like I said, you have a companion and your companion is comfortable, but you still feel lonely as shit. And that's why I'm saying like someone could have went through a divorce with the Hierophant in the reverse or this guy have something to do with someone's financial situation. It being it like someone's fall into a pit of despair and worry and stress about their current state of existence and it's like instead of exacerbating your energy and it's like using all of this energy trying to climb your way out of this hole you kicking up all of this dust you're coughing you're wheezing you're just you're tired take some time because you're gonna hurt yourself like it's like trying to claw your way out Sit down and think. Look at what's around you. Because if you pay attention to what's around you, you can use the very hole to which we fell in to help you climb out. You could utilize the hole itself to help you get out of there. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the cracks, to the crevices, to every little, every little thing. You will find your way when there's no way. And that's the, that's one thing about a fire sign. They don't give the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They really don't give up. Y'all will find a way when there's no way. And y'all fight like hell till you get tired. But sometimes you gotta, listen, you gotta kind of have that, 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 uh, you got to have that strategic mindset. It's not all about the energy and the fight. It's about how you fight. It's about how you fight. Because you can have all that brute strength and all that and all of that, but if you don't have the wisdom, if you don't have the wisdom behind it, all of that strength it is for nothing because if someone can art uh, out can outsmart your strength. Does that make any sense? You gotta have both. What is this? What is this? So you got thoughts and then the privileged lady in the reverse. So this is basically saying that someone needs to stop thinking about the other. Someone needs to stop thinking about the other. There's a situation here where it's like the have and the have nots. The have and the have nots. Look, you got the thoughts and the privileged lady over here. And then you got someone sitting over here in despair. That's coming out of despair. Why? Because they're learning to stop focusing their energy on the privileged. The have and the have nots. So there's most definitely. That's why, okay, we about to get into love. We about to get into love. Because... This is giving me one of two things. Well, two or two, th whatever. Listen, this is giving me one of two things. Um, there could be a situation where it's like someone's trying to climb out of the pit of despair because they feel like they've just got negatively in a hole. In a situation where you're putting so much footing into a situation and it's, and it's in the more and more you're walking, the more and more that you're driving and moving towards it you feel like you're sinking deeper in this hole in this situation while you're watching someone that is hardly doing half of what you have done ain't did half of what you did 
sit up there getting every fucking thing that you fought for and you it's like why is this why not me like why like that like it's like someone is in the position that you fought for and i want to say it threw off your footing Cause it's like it's it's like why me or why not me? It's like it it wasn't supposed to be you. It wasn't supposed to be you. It just wasn't. So it's was like I don't care if this has to do with a business situation or personal situation. Cause this could even be like um, a situation at home amongst family members or something like someone. Your mother showing favoritism towards your older sister and you over here like going through the worst struggle in your fucking life and you can't get nobody to throw you a motherfucking sandwich crumb. A sandwich crumb. And yet you got your other family member here, your 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 privileged sibling, and she got a husband or she got this, this and that, and only thing she gotta do is bat an eye and motherfuckers fall at her whim and act like they gotta be super save a hoe over there. But you could be sitting over here going through the worst. You could be in the fucking shelter where nobody even like bat an eye at you to see if you okay. And it's just like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's like the have and the have nots. The have and the have not. So it's like someone changing their mindset about, you know what? You know what? Whatever this thing is right here in the middle that is the common. It's some type of agreement. It's some type of contract. It's some type of relationship here relationship clause it's some type of shit it's something where it's like you guys are attached by way of a third party or by way of something or do you understand and if it wasn't for this connection here you wouldn't have to think about this shit no more you know you may have to rebuild but it's still awakening you to who you are outside of this connection because you don't need this shit so again, it's like having to replan, not, it's not, not really thinking that you had to, but realizing like, it's like you're being awakened to know I'm going to have to begin things from the beginning before myself this time. Something that represents me. Cause you're not going to sit here after everything that I've done, everything that I've put in, everything that I am and going to show more favoritism to the other side versus me when you see I need your help. Fuck that. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Hmm. A queen stands alone. So, you it's like you stop putting up the fight. You stop putting up the fight. It's like the sun started shining on your skin. Like I said, you were getting that vitamin D. You had that awakening moment. And not only that, it's like you figured out the piece of the puzzle to get your ass out of the hole. Your ass started using your fingernails or something. And they were like cracks and shit in the... And you started digging your fingers and start making these little grooves. And then you started climbing up the you know what i'm saying you use the hole itself to dig yourself out of the hole does that make any sense and you don't have those thoughts no more you don't worry about that shit no more you ain't trying to be a part of this picture no more you don't care you, you're not trying to be a part of this picture it's like commit committed what to who what faith to what to what individuals are they honorary are they acting like that no, because in the in the in the in the reverse, I have a feeling reverse is like not traditional, like not your ordinary. Uh, this is no ordinary love, girl. That ain't no ordinary church. That ain't no ordinary connection. Whatever it is, it's like you just took no. Oh Lord Jesus! Then you got Mary Shelley, Frankenstein. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> Look, and it says the beginning is always today. Elegance is inferior to virtue. A slavish bondage to parents cramp every 
faculty of the mind. So this is someone, again, like I said, this is someone that could be breaking away from their parents. Like their parents could have a lot to do. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. It's like their parents could have a lot to do with why they feel this need for independence. Um, individual, one-minded thinking, it's like... This could be a situation where it's like, okay, my parents could would have stayed together. It, you know, my parents stayed together and they were in an unhappy marriage. You know, my mother was dating her co-worker and my father had a mistress and they got two kids. I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? But they're still together and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But that's not, even though I was taught that regardless of what you don't, dismantle your connection like i listen y'all not i'm not going to allow that lifestyle to be live and, and breathing and thriving in my life you know what i'm saying that's their story that's not my story you know what i'm saying so you might have felt that you fell in that you have fallen into this deep hole of despair just like how your parents was doing you so oh, hell no <laughs> Like, I see, I am so much different. And again, like, your connection to your parents or your parents' lifestyle of trying to be traditional, it seems like to me, is what is, like, keeping you in bondage. It says, a slavish bondage to parents crap every faculty of the mind. It has something to do with someone's parents. Being traditional, keeping up with some type of lifestyle or something like that. No, 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 no. The beginning is always today. Remember? But just finding out who you are, doing the research, spending that time with self, developing yourself first before stepping your foot out there. Elegance is inferior to virtue. Gracefully bowing out. Let's find out what's going on here with love. Let's find out. I feel like in love, honestly, I feel like you're writing your own story right now. You're in the beginning stage of something new. Um, you may have got, you may have uh, just gotten out of something where you feel like it was like an orchestrated nightmare. I don't know why I feel like it's an orchestrated. I want to say like it was pre-written. Well, I'm, I'm getting like a, um, I'm not getting like arranged marriage, like arranged ceremony or something. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like it was written for me to be this way, but I've got a whole new story in mind. Like, no, mm-mm. Because it, because to me, Frankenstein was something that was created. You know, it was created. Give me guidance around this love situation with Sagittarius. And it has something to do with y'all damn parents. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so you got ascending healthy choices. I like that. So you got ascending and healthy choices. Remember I told y'all about that awakening. And healthy choices. So... You are not allowing the nightmare that your parents depicted in their life, in their lifestyle, in your upbringing. You're not allowing that in your house. You're not allowing that in your heart, in your mind. You will rewrite in those books. Actually, you may be selling the old books. You're rewriting some books of your own. It's like you're being the author. You're being the author. And you're changing your position. And you're trying to orchestrate a better lifestyle for yourself you got the dragonfly and then you got girl talk right here so it says be lighthearted, finding out things come into light adapt change heal and then you got girl talk so there could be like a friend that you're not talking to it could be i don't know i don't know i feel like it's like a friend you're not talking to um the dragonfly right there it's like someone is 
that's giving me air and water because dragonflies always fly over top of water air is like communication and things like that so i feel like here that you guys are uh ascending making healthy choices in family partnerships in your relationships and especially in your friendships i really want to say you guys have been spending a lot of times to yourself and you've been taking a high road and keeping your words to yourself i want to say you may even because you know dragonflies they be hoovering over shit like you may be hoovering over something i don't know why i feel like it's like someone is hoovering over water it's like a body of, you know the dragonflies and it's always crazy because I dragonflies give me alien type of shit because the way that they move, it's just like, it don't even look like, it's weird. I don't know. I feel like them and hummingbirds, like they move funny as shit. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. it's like you're hooping over something to kind of get your emotions straight before you say something. Because right now you're not saying something. Either you're not, it's like a friend or I don't know if this is a lesbian relationship or something like that. Or if this is a man that the girl isn't talking to them right now. I'm kind of getting this as like a friendship or something. Someone's making a healthy choice to descend, to ascend. And just not talk to someone. Because they're still hovering over their emotions to figure out what they want to say. And like how they want to address the situation it sounds like to me. What is this? The five of chalices in the reverse. So yeah, it's like someone isn't uh, sad about a situation anymore. It's like they progressed and moved on. Like they're looking at the sunny side of the street. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at the sunny side of the street. Not the side where it's been rained on. Um... And then they're saying something about a different temperament. Something about different temperaments. It's like moving on with a different temperament. More pleasantness. More happiness. More just aware of blessings. Not so much. I don't know why I feel like somewhere here was... At one point in time, they were focused on all the wrong things. And not... The things that they are blessed to have. The things that they are blessed to be happy about. It's like waking up happy. Truly happy. I, I, it's like sometimes with this car here, I feel like for a while, like whoever this was, was waking up not happy with their life. Um, not content. Um, emotional, but Holding it inside to the point where it may have came out as like some type of silent aggression or something. It was like a lot of bottled up held in emotional shit that this healthy choices in ascending. It's like someone's finally decide to. Like, let it go and let bygones be bygones and be at peace and shit. And again, go on the sunny side of the street. It's like I'm not waking up every day with a dark cloud hovering over my house in my mind. And I really do feel like someone was going through something where they were waking up not in good moods many a days. Many a days. Because you, you even see this despair. You see how this came out. In the reverse, it's like they're trying to get out of this mindset. They, they want to be happy. And not focusing and having their thoughts on why people did this or why they doing this over here with them and not with me and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know what I'm saying? My friends don't want to talk to me no more or, or I'm not talking to this person no more. I, I don't give a fuck. They don't want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to them. I, I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... I am focusing on being more lighthearted. Things are coming to light. Changing, healing, adapting. So it's like adapting to the new normal a little bit. It's like taking things for what it is. It's like I can't cry over 
some shit that I don't have no control over. I'm ascending past it, I'm making healthy choices, and I'm rewriting my story. Like, that's about it. What is this? The Ace of Swords. So, it's like, yeah, someone's coming to some level of truth and understanding about um, the cycles that have been going on in their life. Like, I understand why I have to stop focusing on my past, understand my present, and just take it one day at a time, honestly, and just appreciate where I'm standing at. What happened in the past is the past. This is like someone understanding that I, I got to move on. And um, like, yeah, it's like I got to move on. And what's coming is what's best for me. It's what's best for me. It's like I'm losing. It's, in a, it's something about someone losing time. Standing, worrying about other situation and not your own or something like that. Alright, so what are these last cards saying? And then we're done. We got the Nine of Wands. Got the Nine of Wands. So you guys are standing up for yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's saying something about like some type of scare tactic or something like that. That is a scarecrow. But it's like you're really just trying to protect your crops. So it's like... You guys could be to the point where, um, why am I getting it's like a they're saying something about like a scare tactic, like a feature film, uh, like a scary story or something like that. I don't know why it's like I'm feeling like something about a scary story. But it's like to, they're saying it's not to harm you, but it's like to set someone at a safe distance or something. You know, like when you tell people scary stories like, oh, you know, if you go down to that river that there's a swamp monster and they eat children and they take your shoes and they throw it up on the um on the on the flagpole or some shit and or you know what I'm saying like some crazy shit and you're like oh my god they throw the sneakers of the dead kids on the flagpole yeah on the flagpole and then you go and at the swamp and then you look and see there's a flagpole over there with all of these shoes tied up there and it's like people could have made this story up and purposely threw the shoes up there of all these different sizes of these beat up old fucking shoes and shit just to like coincide with the story to just make people not go in the river because they didn't want people to go in the river because people were drowning or you know what I'm saying like so it just I, I'd rather just make up this story about the swamp monster so the people just don't go in the river because they think there's something you know what I'm saying I don't know why I'm getting that why in the hell am I getting that I don't know why I want to say like what did you do What did you do? Hmm. You got the Fool and then you got the Knight of Wands. So with the Fool card, I definitely feel like it's someone. Tri I mean, this is, a, this is definitely a lot of tribal here. So this is someone just moving on, going along without their journey, on their journey, moving along on faith. It looks like they set a boundary up. But it's like not before sending out like a wolf tail. Why am I getting like someone set up a wolf tail? It's like some type of story or legend about you or something like that. Where it's like, mm -hmm. it's some type of legendary tale of not crossing someone. It's like this person just moved on and just carried on. And. But it's like, don't cross them. Don't cross this territory. Like this, it's like, it's something about. 
this person isn't suffering anymore. They're not crying. They're okay. They understand the truth. They gain wisdom. And again, I want to say that they set a safe boundary with someone. Like they know what they know now. So, I don't know if it, 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 if it was because of you being in defense of yourself. If there's like some story going around about how you are protecting yourself or what you're doing to protect yourself. Or some type of security that you've split put in place or something like that but it's like after being hurt you moved on you understand a lot of things you have a sense of security now and it's like you're moving on with faith and it's like you're chasing your dreams it's like you're following your dreams or something like that with that knight of wands right there it's like you're adventurer. You're feeling adventurous right now. Um, you're saying something about you like going out on a tavern or something like that. So it, it may be like a party time for you right now. You may be like a socialite. You may be going from one place to another, getting to know a lot of different people in a lot of different countries or something. So like, I don't know why I'm feeling like you may be a traveler right now but you're for you're in a safe distance from your past you may be traveling like i would not put it past someone if they just like left everything behind like literally left everything behind and, and again it's like you could have told some type of story or something you could have told a story so that people would have come look for you because it's like you're moving on. It's like you're a venture. You're going on to other places to seek other things. And I, I want to say it's like you, don't, you didn't want people to come look for you. So it's like you told some type of story or something. Anyway, I got to go. Y'all make it make sense for me. Sagittarius, I love you. Peace. <laughs> Hit the like button. <laughs>